bivariate distribution probabilities let x and y have a joint probability density function f of x y is equals to 1 over 8 x y and x lies between 0 and 2 and y lies between 1 and 3 we want to calculate a number of probabilities and the first one is we want to calculate probability that x is less than 1 and y is less than 2 remember x lies between 0 and 2 and y lies between 1 and 3 and it is 0 otherwise so if x is less than 2 then it means for example for the value of y if it's less than 2 then it will be between 1 and 2 and for the x it will be between 0 and 1 1 over 8 x of y dx dy so with that set of information then we could get the first integral this is for the y because we are saying y is less than 2 what we can keep in mind is this to make it easier for us to recall so for the x it is 0 and 2 and we are told that x is less than 1 so the interval that we are looking for x is this while for the y it lies between 1 and 3 and we are told that the value of y is less than 2 so we are interested in this and that's why we said for the y is that and for the x the interval will be that one from 0 to 1 and the, that gives us 1 over 8 and the x lies between y lies between 1 and 2 and then y so x is x squared over 2 and the value is between 0 and 1 dy so when we substitute uh, x is equals to 1 it will be a half when we substitute x is equals to 0 it will be 0 so it will be a half times 1 over 8 uh, 1 to 2 y dy and uh, this gives us 1 over 16 y squared over 2 1 to 2 which is 1 over 16 times 1 over 2 2 squared minus 1 squared 2 squared is 4 4 minus 1 is 3 so it's 3 over that 2 and that is the probability that x is less than 1 and probability the same time that y is less than 2 for the case where we have been given for example x is greater than 0 and y is greater than 2 it will definitely be the integral for y y will lie between 2 and 3 and x will lie between 0 and 2 1 over 8 dx uh, dxy dx and dy and uh, this gives us 1 over 8 the integral 2 to 3 i'll start off with y with x sorry it will be x squared over 2 and the interval is 0 to 2 dy and this is 4 over 2 which is 2 so I'll take 2 outside which will be 2 over 8 then I'll integrate y it will be y squared over 2 and I'll put the limits as 2 and 3 so it is a quarter 9 over 2 minus 4 over 2 which is uh, a quarter times 5 over 2 which is 5 over 8 another example is we want to find probability of x plus y is less than 3 and what we want to keep in mind is that we would want to plot this when x is 0 y is 3 and when y is 0 x is 3 and then we can have a small diagram to represent the information that we have uh, remember these are the values of x and these are the values of y y is 1 2 and 3 x is 0 1 and 2 so uh, when x is 0 uh, y so the line is this first of all and then the other thing is at this point this will be true so when x is 2 y should be equals to 1 so the region that we require would be this this is the region because 
this part is x plus y is greater than 3 and at this point is 3 minus y. So if y is 1 then x is 2. So this line which means that this point should be true. So since we know that x plus y is less than 3 then we can say that x is less than 3 minus y. And that's basically what we are trying to put across there. And that is important so that now we can express our equation in terms of y. Uh, x is less than that. So the lowest value of x is 0 and the highest value is 3 minus y. 1 over 8 dy dx dy. And therefore this is uh, 1 over 8 integral from 1 to 3 y. This is x squared over 2. Uh, from 0 to 3 minus y dy. It is best to start off with the integral of x so that uh, when you replace the value of y, then you can be easily be able to compute the dy easily. So it will be, I can put the two outside and then it will be 3 minus y squared then minus 0, which I do not need, and then dy. And I know that this will give me 9 plus y squared minus 6y, the 3 minus y squared. So therefore, this will give me 1 over 16, the integral from 1 to 3. If I multiply y times all these, I'll get 9y plus y cubed minus 6y squared. And I want to integrate with respect to y. This gives us 1 over 16, 9y squared over 2, plus y4 over 4, minus 6y cubed over 3. And we put the limits of integration from 1 to 3. This is 1 over 16. Uh, when y is 3, that is 81 over 2, plus 81 over 4, uh, divide by 3, 1, divide by 3, 2, 27 times 2, minus 54, then minus, when y is 1, it is 9 over 2, plus 1 over 4, minus 2, and then times 1 over 16. And uh, when we do all those computations, you will get the value as 1. You will get 1 over 16. It will be 81 over 2 plus 81 over 4 minus 54 minus 9 over 2 minus a quarter plus 2 and uh, after you do all that computations the answer will be left as 1 over 4 and therefore that is the probability that x plus y is less than 3. Keep in mind that your probability should always lie between 0 and 1 in whatever computations you are doing. I'm sure you love my videos. Please do subscribe.